Hello, I'm Johnny Turner. I'm a sculptor living here in New Zealand. I've just become very fortunate that I've been able to be successfully selected to do an art exchange with a French sculptor. Hello, I'm Vincent Gontier from France and uh, I'm living in Grenoble and I was selected uh, by La Tour du Pain and uh, La Communauté des Vallons de La Tour as a French artist to meet Johnny Turner in his country, which is New Zealand, which is at only 20,000 kilometers from my house. I work especially with the newspaper, so I decided to work with the Eastbourne Herald, and I say a really thanks for their collaboration to um, that exhibition. And because it's, uh, for me, the daily life is our memory, and we, you find all of all is in the newspaper, in the local newspaper especially. There is something very near from the, the human. And uh, in my work I compare the material and, uh, of the newspaper, like uh, the, the body, our body. And around our body there is our environment. It's, uh, it's symbolized with the presence of the steel in the big assembled sculpture or in the little uh, sketches object. And so I try to make a connection between uh, my culture and your culture and also to mix two newspapers, Le Monde, which is a very important newspaper in France, and the Gisborne Herald. Um, I have heard that it's one of the last private um, newspaper and so I made an installation very like a performance but in echoes with a, a sign of Maori culture. At the end of the month of October I go back to France traveling with Vincent yes, <laughs> and over there waiting for me I've seen photos of it as a large two meter by one meter by one meter block of marble which I'll sculpt to work which will be placed in the main street of the town where the art organization is from. They've asked me what I may potentially be doing over there and interested in drawings or models or maquettes of the work but much like Vincent I want to meet the people and I want to meet the place before I settle on a final idea of something that which will be left there permanently and especially with the permanence of stone. And what is very important is that we are going to spend two months together. And uh, so it's very deep exchange, one part in New Zealand, the other part in France, and try to understand each other by his own work. It's a very, very strong experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, our art dealer here, the, the um, curator of the Paul Nash Gallery, Maddie Clark, uh, he's interested in growing and developing and experiencing curating art exhibitions, not just in New Zealand but overseas. So there may be possibility there where the exchange takes place between curators that maybe a New Zealand curator or Gisborne curator does an exhibition in France and vice versa using French and New Zealand artists or local Gisborne artists and French artists from that area. To me I think that would be a superb exhibition to have where it may involve more than just two artists and a variety of styles and media. My, one of my hero sculptors, Brancusi, he said the key to being a successful artist in a male case is to dream like a god, rule your life or your career like a king, but work like a slave.